I'm Dr. Ash. Welcome back to the Healthy Brain Exchange, where we discuss the latest in neuroscience to help you achieve optimum brain health and cognitive wellness. Today, we're diving into something that we've all experienced, the dreaded midday energy crash. You know that sluggish feeling that sneaks up on you just after lunch, when all you wanna do is just curl up and take a nap? But why does this happen? And more importantly, what can we do about it? Stick around because today I'll be sharing the latest neuroscience research, some fascinating brain facts, and science-backed strategies, including dietary recommendations, smart supplementation, and some practical exercises to help you conquer that midday slump. Trust me, you won't want to miss this. So let's get right into it. First things first, let's talk about what's actually happening in your brain. Did you know that your brain makes up only 2% of your body weight, but consumes up to 20% of your body's energy? That's right, your brain is an energy intense organ. Inside this incredible organ, billions of neurons are firing and communicating through synapses every second. This activity is especially high during tasks that requires focus, problem solving, or creativity. And here's a fun fact. The electrical impulses in your brain can travel up to 268 miles per hour. Now, the prefrontal cortex, the area responsible for decision-making, attention, and executive functions, requires a steady supply of glucose, which is the brain's primary fuel source. Around midday, especially after lunch, this supply can start to wane, leading to that familiar feeling of mental fog. But it's not just about glucose. Recent neuroscience research has uncovered that neuronal mitochondria, the tiny powerhouses within your brain cells, plays a crucial role in energy production and cognitive function. When these mitochondria aren't working efficiently, you can experience fatigue and decreased mental clarity. So what causes this midday slump? It's a multifaceted issue But let's break down the main culprits. Number one is the blood sugar roller coaster. After a carb heavy meal, your blood sugar spikes, prompting a surge of insulin to shuttle glucose into your cells. But this spike is often followed by a sharp drop, what we call reactive hypoglycemia. This drop leaves your brain lacking its primary fuel, making you feel tired and sluggish. Number two, cortisol rhythm disruption. Cortisol, known as the stress hormone, follows a diurnal pattern. It peaks in the morning and gradually declines throughout the day. However, stress, poor sleep, or inadequate nutrition can disrupt this rhythm, leading to energy dips when you least want them. Number three, circadian and ultridium rhythms. Beyond our 24 hour circadian rhythm, we also have altridian rhythms, 90 to 120 minute cycles that affect our alertness and energy levels. Around two to 3 p.m., these rhythms often lead to a natural dip in energy, commonly referred to as the post-lunch dip. Number four, a denison buildup. As you're awake and active, a denison accumulates in your brain, promoting feelings of sleepiness, Without adequate breaks or restorative activities, this buildup can contribute to midday fatigue. Number five, gut-brain axis and microbiota. Emerging research shows that your gut microbiome significantly influences brain function and energy levels. An imbalance in gut bacteria can affect nutrient absorption and neurotransmitter production, impacting how energetic or tired you feel. Before we move on, here's some brain facts to ponder. Your brain produces about 23 watts of power while awake. That's enough to light up a small bulb. There are approximately 100,000 miles of blood vessels in your brain, enough to circle the earth four times. Neurons in your brain make up to 1,000 trillion connections, essential for thought, memory, and consciousness. Isn't that mind-blowing? Now that we understand the why, 
Let's concentrate on the how. How do we combat the midday crash through nutrition? Number one is that balanced meals are the key. Aim for meals that combine lean proteins, healthy fats, and complex carbohydrates. This trio ensures a slow, steady release of energy. Lean proteins, think chicken, turkey, tofu, or legumes. Proteins provide amino acids like tyrosine and tryptophan, which are precursors to neurotransmitters, dopamine and serotonin. Healthy fats, avocados, nuts, seeds and olive oil are rich in omega-3 fatty acids essential for brain health. Complex carbs, whole grains, quinoa and sweet potatoes are high in fiber preventing blood sugar spikes. Number two, don't skip breakfast. A nutrient dense breakfast sets a tone for the day Include foods like oatmeal topped with berries and nuts or a veggie omelette with whole grain toast. Number three, smart snacking. If you need a pick-me-up between meals, opt for snacks that won't spike your blood sugar. Greek yogurt with berries, high in protein and antioxidants. Apple slices with almond butter. A mix of fiber and healthy fats. Hummus with carrot and cucumber sticks provides fiber and protein. Number four, hydration matters. Even mild dehydration can impair cognitive function. Aim for at least eight glasses of water a day. Consider herbal teas or infused water for variety. Number five, limit added sugars and processed foods. These can cause inflammation and oxidative stress, impacting both energy levels and overall brain health. Let's not forget the gut-brain axis. Your gut microbiota produce neurotransmitters like serotonin and gamma anemobutyric acid, also known as GABA, which influence mood and stress responses. Include probiotics. Foods like yogurt, kefir, sauerkraut, and kimchi can produce a healthy gut flora. Feed the good bacteria. Prebiotic fibers found in garlic, onions, asparagus, and bananas nourish beneficial gut bacteria. Supplements can fill nutritional gaps and support brain metabolism. Magnesium is essential for over 300 enzymatic reactions, including energy production. Recommend a dose of around 300 to 400 milligrams of magnesium glycinate or threonate daily. Magnesium also promotes relaxation and better sleep. Omega-3 fatty acids. These are critical for neuronal membrane fluidity and neurotransmission. The recommended dose is around 1,000 to 2,000 milligrams of combined EPA and DHA daily. The tip here is to choose high quality fish oil that's tested for purity. B vitamins complex. Support energy production and neurotransmitter synthesis. Recommended dose is follow the label instructions or you consult your healthcare provider. Tip here is B12 is important, especially for vegans and vegetarians. Coenzyme Q10 or CoQ10 is vital for mitochondrial energy production. Recommended dose is 100 to 200 milligrams per day. The tip here is look for the ubiquinol form, which is better for absorption. Vitamin D influences gene expression related to energy metabolism. With a dose, get your levels tested Doses can vary from 1,000 to 5,000 IU. A tip for taking vitamin D is pair with a fat-containing meal for better absorption. Physical activity boosts blood flow and oxygen to the brain, revitalizing you instantly. Here's some exercises that you can do anywhere. Five minute movement break. Jumping jacks. Do 30 seconds to get your heart rate up. High knees, another 30 seconds to engage your core. Desk push-ups, use your desk for incline push-ups. Do about 10 reps. Squats, 15 reps to activate large muscle groups. And lunges, alternate legs, 10 reps each leg. Number two is stretch and roll. So first we start with neck rolls. We'll just roll just to ease some tension, just rolling side to side. Then we do shoulder shrugs. We just lift our shoulders up and gently release. And then we breathe. So we breathe in for four, hold for four, and we breathe out for six. 
all to release tension and give you that feeling of relaxation. And number three is mindful walking. If possible, take a 10 minute walk outside. Exposure to natural light can reset your circadian rhythms and improve your mood. Sometimes you just can't get up and move and that's okay. Here are some ways to boost mental energy right at your desk. The 20-20-20 rule. Every 20 minutes, look at something 20 feet away for 20 seconds. This reduces eye strain and fatigue. Mini meditation. Close your eyes and focus on your breath for two to five minutes. This calms the mind and can improve focus. Progressive muscle relaxation. Starting from your toes, tense and relax each muscle group up to your head. This reduces physical tension that contributes to fatigue. Brain teasers. Engage in a quick puzzle or riddle. Stimulating your brain in a different way can refresh your mind. Never underestimate the power of a good sleep. Aim for seven to nine hours of quality sleep per night. Also consider your exposure to light. Morning light exposure helps set your internal clock. Try to get at least 15 minutes of sunlight in the morning. Limit blue light at night. Blue light from screens can disrupt melatonin production. Use blue light filters or limit screen time before bed. And there you have it, the midday energy crash does not have to be part of your routine. By understanding the science behind it and implementing these strategies, balanced nutrition, smart supplementation, physical activity and mindfulness, you can maintain constant energy throughout the day. Remember, small changes can make a big difference. Give these tips a try and let me know how they work for you. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel for more healthy brain insights and share your own energy boosting tips in the comments below. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time on the Healthy Brain Exchange.